Now, when they're adding calcium to the pool, how much calcium at once can be added to a pool? There, there really isn't an amount. The thing that you want to be careful of doing, the biggest thing you want to be careful of doing is never, ever, never, ever, ever add bicarbonate and soda ash, either of those two chemicals, within four hours of you adding any chloride product, okay? Because if you do, it will precipitate calcium carbonate all over the whole pool and most of the equipment. Wow. Okay, okay. so it is, it is a super big no-no to yeah. put those in the water at the same time, man. It will precipitate out and it will stick to the walls everywhere. And you'll oh, play wow. hell removing it. So you don't want to ever get those two chemicals in the water at the same time. Okay. Um, okay. So that you want to be sure of. Um, as far as how much calcium on startup, based on what we are doing, we're starting with 150. So even if your calcium level was 30 or 40 to start with, it's okay to put in 100 parts per million or 120 to get you up to that 150. It's okay to okay. do that. But you you probably um, it there are two kinds of of uh, calcium hardness increaser on the market. It, it's uh -huh. all the same chemical. One is called anhydrous and one is called dihydrate. And the anhydrous is is a hundred percent because anhydrous essentially means no water. And okay. the, the and it so it's a hundred percent. The dihydrate chemically has two molecules of water in it. And so um, it is about 77% uh, calcium chloride instead of 100. So you need a little more of it, but it's a whole lot more soluble. So, okay. so, the, okay. so the, the one that is has more water with it, obviously it's already got water with it, so it's easier to dissolve. Uh, right. the, one that's, okay. the one that's not isn't, but both of them are pretty dissolvable. But um, I would recommend on a new pool that you dissolve the calcium chloride in a bucket of water. Okay. And understand this, the, the reaction of calcium chloride in water is exothermic, which means it gives off heat. And if you put okay. more than about, if you put more than about five pounds in five gallons, that bucket will get really hot. <laughs> I mean, hot to the touch. I'm not kidding. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I and so, you. if if you put ten pounds in a five bucket, five gallon bucket of water, you could even start to melt the bucket. <laughs> so, so you need to be aware that when you do that, it's going to get hot. It's going to get hot. It'll dissolve right away, but it's going to get hot. So. Um, <laughs> They need to be aware of that. Don't be surprised <laughs> when you add it. But then you need to, to uh, mix it up or stir it up a little bit and then pour it around the perimeter of the pool instead of in one spot. And, and I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. I know that you just said that, and there's somebody that's either listening live or that don't is going to try this at home. They're going to go and they're going to try it. Do no, not do no, this no, at home. How hot this gets. Seriously, it gets really hot. And if you do it with, you know, the, the thing that most people are going to want to do is take a little pile of calcium chloride and put a few drops of water on it. And wow. if you do that, it will spit that water back at you. Wow. And I'm not kidding. It's a serious reaction. So uh, you need to be aware of that. And you don't want you don't want to get that splashed on you or anything. It's hot. It'll burn you. It's hot. Yeah. So, um, so. Don't mess with these chemicals at home, really. You know, yeah. we we deal with dangerous chemicals every day, and we tend to get kind of, of complacent about it. But these yeah. chemicals are seriously dangerous.